Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Florence and welcome to Zillan Your Life. In today's video, I'll be going over 10 of my favorite winter fragrances that I'm currently obsessed with. I have been wearing these fragrances non-stop and I will continue to wear them right until the cold weather um, is done. <laughs> yeah, so this is my winter capsule fragrance collection. Let's get right into it. All right, the first fragrance is Volutes by Diptyque. And let's just take a minute for that bottle. I absolutely love Diptyque bottles because they have some art at the back. So beautiful, stunning. <laughs> so this is a powdery, sweet tobacco fragrance. There's some tobacco, some honey, some spices, some iris, which makes it powdery. This is so soft, sweet. It has a dryness from the tobacco that I absolutely love. Tobacco is a fragrance note that I enjoy a lot and you will see a few more that have tobacco in them. This is also unisex. So both I and my partner wear this and we've been enjoying it. We've been thoroughly enjoying it. It's fairly new in my collection. It was actually in the unboxing video that I filmed. You must have seen that by now, but yeah. Number one on the list is Volutes by Diptyque. Next on the list is Te Noir by Le Labo. I actually don't have the real label. I don't know why they never give me the real label. I bought this from Nordstrom. Anyway, I don't feel like bothering to <laughs> return it and try and figure out how to get the personalized label. Because the fragrance is there and it smells good. So <laughs> this is another tobacco fragrance. Um, it's more fresh, spicy, sweet. It's also denser, so it's not powdery and light like um, Volutes by Diptyque. This is powdery, light. This is more sweet, more um, dense. It has hay, it has tobacco, it has vetiver, it has fig. It's very well done. The name is Black Tea, but it doesn't have a black tea note. But from what I've read is that it's supposed to um, bring the vibe of a black tea <laughs> from those fragrance notes. I kind of get it because it's low-key dark and deep and sweet and spicy. Yeah, and has a dryness from the tobacco and the hay, which I guess is reminiscent of black tea in a way. I, get, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Again... Both my partner and I wear this, and we absolutely love this. Te Noir by Le Labo. Next, we have Jazz Club by Maison Magella. And this is yet another tobacco fragrance. But this is more boozy, more sweet, and also aromatic. It has notes like Neroli, pink pepper. Um, I think it's rum. That's the boozy note. There's some vetiver, some sage. Um, some tobacco, vanilla. So it's sweet from the vanilla, uh, boozy from the rum, has some dryness from the vetiver and the tobacco, and some, some aromatic notes from the sage. It's very well done. Also unisex, one of my favorites from the Maison Magella replica line. I absolutely love this fragrance. I have gone through a travel size and I bought a full size um, I want to say, I think in October or something of the sort. But yeah, definitely a staple for cold weather. I love it. Jazz Club by Mason Magella. Next on the list is Après by Alice Brooklyn. And this is a woody, aromatic, spicy fragrance. I absolutely love this fragrance. It reminds me of clean, fresh alpine air. Like on a snowy day in the mountains. <laughs> it's so nice and refreshing. There's something cold, crisp about it. It reminds me of pine trees. There's something very cold and crisp about it, which is interesting. But it's still warm and sweet because it has vanilla. It has, I think, a whiskey note. Um, so it still has some warmth and sweetness, but still has some cool, crisp, freshness from the woods it's very interesting i love it it has cedar wood sandalwood vanilla the boozy note juniper berries very well done very well blended this was my christmas day fragrance of the day i had a travel size of this and i ran through it completely and bought this 
I love layering it with almost everything in my collection just because my taste tends to align pretty well with the notes in here. <laughs> it has some of my favorite notes like cardamom and juniper berries and booze and woods and vanilla. It basically encapsulates a lot of stuff that I have in my collection in one fragrance. So it's... ah. Uh, I love this one. This is probably the star of my winter collection and one that I think I will keep repurchasing <laughs> maybe for the rest of my life, assuming I don't, um, you know, my taste doesn't change. But yeah, this one, this one, this is winter in a bottle. This is the winter fragrance <laughs> and I love it. This is A Prayer by Alice Brooklyn. I also love the magnetic cup. <laughs> so much fun next on the list is coffee break by mason magella again from the replica line and this is lavender coffee vanilla um some milk <laughs> some spices i think there's some pepper at the top this is such a lovely fragrance i love this this is cozy when it's raining and cold out there and it's gray and gloomy like seattle is for like nine months <laughs> this is the perfect fragrance to lift your mood the coffee in this mixed with the lavender those are the two most prominent notes the lavender the coffee there's a bit of florals i think if it's i don't know if it's orange blossom or what is it yeah there's some floral in there and then mixed with the vanilla and then there's some milky aspect some sweetness so well done so well done i absolutely love it by itself but i also love layering it with vanilla fragrances just to amp up that vanilla note <laughs> very cozy amazing perfect for cold weather which i mean winter is cold so yeah that's coffee break by mason magella next on the list is oduel by diptyque and again look at that bottle look at the art and the art at the back of the bottle stunning <laughs> this is an aromatic fresh spicy vanilla fragrance ah this is so good this is my favorite vanilla fragrance it has vanilla some resins there's some black tea some citrus some juniper some cardamom this is fresh green there's something effervescent about this fragrance and sparkling that makes me really happy it's fresh but still sweet from the vanilla so it can be worn all year round and sometimes in the winter i am tired of the very sweet deep dark fragrances and i want something more fresh and light and sparkling and fun and this vanilla fits that bill <laughs> i absolutely love this fragrance i wear it all year round winter summer spring <laughs> it is my favorite fragrance Favorite vanilla fragrance of all time. Absolutely love it. If you've not tried it, I'd say try it. If you love vanilla and if you love fresh fragrances, so if you like aromatic fragrances, fresh fragrances, citrus fragrances, try this out. If you also love vanilla, it marries those two worlds really well. I absolutely love this. That's Oduel by Diptyque. Next on the list is Gentle Fluidity Gold by Mason Francis Katjan. And this is another fragrance that's vanilla, fresh, spicy, slightly aromatic, but this leans more sweet, more powdery, more ambery. So if you found Diptyque's Oduel to be too fresh, too aromatic, too green leaning for you, you might enjoy Gentle Fluidity Gold because this is more sweet, powdery, vanilla leaning but it still has that freshness from the juniper berries. So it's it's sweet from the vanilla, from the amber. There's some woodsy notes in here, but it still has that freshness from the juniper berries and the woods. Yeah, it's very well done. There's some spices. I think it's nutmeg that's in there. Really good. I absolutely love this fragrance. I also love the story behind this fragrance. The perfumer, uh, Francis Kachan. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the second name. 
he took the same fragrance notes and made two fragrances from them so there's the gold version and the silver version the gold version leans more feminine the silver version leans more masculine but fragrance is a unisex experience so you can just choose whichever of the two um you like i have smelt the silver version as well it leans more into the aromatic fresh spicy side and less on the vanilla so depending on what you prefer you can choose one of the two but yeah i absolutely love this i also love the color of the juice the purple juice <laughs> vanilla fragrances sometimes turn purple i think it's very pretty <laughs> very beautiful so this is gentle fluidity gold by mfk next on the list is keali vanilla 28 and this is vanilla brown sugar and amber done right this is sweet it is soft it is warm you can smell that brown sugar it makes me happy when i smell this fragrance it's also one of my partner's favorite fragrances on me so whenever i wear this he compliments it <laughs> this is absolutely delicious it smells like vanilla and brown sugar there's some warmth from the amber there's something that makes it smell slightly boozy. I don't know if it's a Tonka beans. Something about the way it's been blended makes it smell slightly boozy. It's really nice. Very good. Believe the hype. I think almost everyone likes this fragrance and it's for good reason. Also, it has the purple juice. This is a bit more dark than the Gentle Fluidity Gold. Let me put them side by side but it's still purple so it looks really nice <laughs> i love that that's keali vanilla 28 next we have okidevani by van cleef and appels and this is a sweet powdery almondy chocolatey vanilla <laughs> clearly i love my vanilla fragrances this is so sweet and soft and powdery you can smell the chocolate you can smell the almond, so it's like slightly nutty and powdery from that. The vanilla is nice and warm and sweet and it just envelops you. It's comforting. <laughs> this is so good. There's some woods. I think it's cedar. Um, there's lots of other things going on. I think there's even orange in here. Um, tonka beans, I think. But basically, powdery, sweet, chocolatey almondy vanilla beautifully done very feminine in my opinion another one that my partner absolutely loves on me i also love wearing this yeah <laughs> i absolutely love this fragrance okay devani by van Cleef and appels and i'm almost running out <sighs> i'll definitely have to repurchase this one <laughs> when i run out of this and finally, we have Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I have a travel size um, of the fragrance. And this is a sweet cherry fragrance that has some almonds. So it smells slightly nutty and powdery from that. There's some liqueur. The cherry is dark and sour. So it's a, it smells like cherry liqueur. There's some plums, some rose. There's some woods in the base, some cinnamon, some spices. This smells really good, really sweet, intoxicating. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I love everything about this fragrance except the price tag because this this is this is really pricey. Tom Ford is doing the most of those prices. So I also do own the Dossier Dupe. I think it's nowadays it's called Ambery Cherry, but the one I have says Oriental Cherry. It won't focus, but yeah <laughs> from dossier they do a lot of inspired by fragrances so this is their inspired by tom ford version and they smell pretty similar they, pre they smell pretty similar the only difference is that this one leans more aromatic fresh spicy which i don't mind if you've seen my other fragrance choices i do love the aromatic fragrances and this one now is more powdery and sweet. So I alternate between the two of them. You can see this has been well loved. <laughs> and this is newer. Yeah. So I am keeping this for special occasions just because that price tag is 
very steep. I don't know if I'll end up buying a full bottle of this. I don't know if I love cherry that much. Or maybe I'll just keep repurchasing this dossier version. But yeah, um, for when I want something sweet and fruity and... But dark and mysterious, because the cherry is still dark and mysterious in, in this fragrance. This is what I gravitate towards. That's Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. And that's the final fragrance from my winter collection. And there you have it. Those are the fragrances in my winter collection. I'm trying to hold as many of them <laughs> in my hand as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned about something new, a new fragrance that you hadn't had before. Um, I hope you just enjoyed it. <laughs> Let me know what are some of your favorite fragrances for cold weather. What do you love wearing when it's cold and gloomy and gray? What's your go-to fragrance? Let me know in the comment section. And again, thank you for hanging out with me and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for sharing in my joy of fragrance. <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Like, share, subscribe, all the good jazz. Find me on Instagram and TikTok, Zelenia Life, for more fragrance content. And I will see you here on the next video. All right, bye.